Salutations, greetings, my friends. It's Mass Man Reviews back again with another video. And today what I have is a timeless classic. And this is from the house of Jeffrey Bean. And this is gray flannel. Uh, this usually comes like in a pouch. I don't have the pouch with me handy, but I, I do have it around somewhere. But it comes inside a pouch. Really nice uh, fragrance. Um, the color is about is like a greenish color. And this is just like uh, an homage video to this uh, wonderful scent. Um, I'm not going to go over notes or anything like that, but I will give you kind of like a very high level overview or descriptive overview of how this made me feel. So I think it was about two or three days ago, uh, maybe a week ago was my scent of the day and it made me feel fantastic. There is this spiciness about this fragrance that is just great, but it's soapy at the same time. Just a wonderful um, scent profile that it has. That soapy, yet very spicy characteristic. And um, from what I understand, there's also a bit of violet leaf in here, which gives it an extra oomph. Um, I know I wasn't going to talk about notes, but... I guess it's important in the sense that um, the way that this kind of made me feel was very similar to, to the same type of feelings that um, Fahrenheit, the original Fahrenheit kind of invokes in me. And I guess that commonality between the violet leaf may be a part of it, but this one is just um, a much more refreshing um, feeling that I got from it. It, it was it kind of awakened my senses um, in a way. This is just one of those scents that when you pour it on, when you, or either, because this comes in, in a splash on, you could splash it on or spray it on. It's going to awaken you and it's going to kind of make you feel like you want to do something, you want to uh, seize the day. So I would probably use this more as a daytime scent but also you could use it maybe as a nighttime scent as well. But to me, this is more suited uh, for the daytime. You could pretty much wear this um, on any event, like it could be for work or for play, but I would probably um, go easier on the atomizations. This one um, does project really loudly and it stood with me the entire day. So I'm not sure if it, it was just with my, um, I guess with my skin chemistry or how the those notes kind of play with me, but this was a very long lasting scent and something that I felt really comfortable wearing. Um, this is just one of those scents that is just, to me, a, it's a 10 out of 10. It's, it's a classic. It's something that you definitely want to look into. There is a, a woodsy accord to this, but it's very floral at the same time. It has a lot of different floral notes in, involved in here. Just a masterpiece, if you ask me. And um, again, I don't think it's dated at all. If you wear this um, very casually, you're going to feel really good about yourself. Um, it, it's just one of those uplifting scents, uh, in my opinion. Again, I wasn't really planning to do a video today, but I, I wanted to kind of revisit this uh, fragrance and let uh, people know that this is just one of those wonderful classic fragrances. This came out, I, I believe, in 1976 or 75. So it's been around for almost um, 40, 46 years, almost as old as me, this fragrance is. So it's one of those fragrances that is just super classic, super timeless, something that, again, again, I, I can see young people wearing this as long as you kind of keep in mind that it has like a fresh, spicy accord to it with, with a little bit like of a soapy vibe to it. I, I think of a, of, of a real fresh, refreshing soap in, in a way, um, almost similar to Irish Spring, if you will. Just one of those beautiful scents. It's a masterpiece, has that, that but but more floral in a way. It, it doesn't have the the green ness to it. Just very bright, very uh, vibrant kind of pops. And when I smell this, I have it on the, on. It's already dried down. It's just such a great scent. Just awakens you. 
is what it is. All right, people, I hope you enjoyed this uh, homage to gray flannel, something that, I mean, it's not going to break your bank. It's a very economical fragrance, and it's masterfully done. So, again, my hat's off to you, Great Flannel. I don't know who the perfumer is behind this one, and it's kind of been bugging me. I want to find out because it's just very masterfully done, and it hasn't. I mean, this is, I picked this up maybe about a year ago, so I, I don't think that there has been like any reformulations or anything like that maybe almost a year and a half. I don't think there's, even if there has been, it's still, it stood the test of time. All right, people, take care of yourselves. Peace and blessings. I'm out until the next time.